What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Flawless Wins here, and it is time for me to bring you my first ever Black Ops 3 combat record video. That is right. It's long overdue. Your boy's a master prestige. I know it's like an uneven number or whatever. Well, actually, it's technically even, but 208 is the level. I do want to say before I get things started that I've always been that guy that was basically a tryhard in Call of Duty, and I was all about that stats life and, you know, high kill-death ratio, high win-loss ratio, high score per minute, all the essential stats that define a good player, or I should say a great player. But for this Call of Duty, it's... It's got a more relaxed feel. That's the approach that I decided to take with this Call of Duty. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm taking it as more of an easygoing feel is what I'm trying to say. My stats aren't the greatest, but the approach I took with this game was to get as many challenges completed as possible, as well as going and obtaining hero armor and dark matter camel. So I will show you my KD right now. Playing for stats. So without further ado, this is my level. Here's my stats. We got that weapon master though, because of, you know, I use all the different specialists. We got Ultra Killer, get that 8 man. We got Master Killer, um, you know, 52,274 kills at the moment, 1.33 KD, 145 one loss, 388 score per minute. A lot of you guys are sitting back and probably saying these are really low stats. You know, my kill death ratio is supremely low. Considering I had like a 4.94 kill death ratio in Black Ops 2. And every Call of Duty I've ever played, for the most part, I've had no problems with holding over a 3 KDR. And like a 600 or so score per minute. Especially with Treyarch. But, honestly, when I started this game, I wasn't playing that good. Uh, it was definitely an adjustment for me. And I was making a lot of mistakes. I've adjusted my playstyle accordingly. Uh, my stats were like a 1.25 KDR just a week ago. And I already brought it up like a 0.8 in like a week's time. Because I've been like no-lifing this game the last week. And no, I almost have Dark Matter. I just have to do the launchers, three of the snipers, the combat knife. Um... Here we go. I'll go over my other stats real quick. C4. I wanted to go for the title. That's why I did that. Um, wow, I almost have 10,000 UAVs. Um, bunch of haters. Hardened sentries. I'm not hiding anything from you guys. Almost 300 race. 211 rap kills. Uh, I run low streaks in this Call of Duty. I do just fine. Fire break. You know, the purifier is definitely my favorite. Kinetic armor as well. I use kinetic armor mostly when I play free-for-all. And, man, I'm going to go over leaderboards and everything with you guys as well. Uh, I'm well-balanced. I'm diverse. You know, I play a bunch of different game modes, kill confirmed, domination mostly, free-for-all. Uh, just a whole bunch of different game modes. My score per minute has been increasing a lot ever since I went or, or started playing Chaos Mosh Pit, I should say. Yay, what up, Diver? Life is up in here. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so crazy. But yeah, I should show you my weapons real quick. Razorback is my most used weapon. That and the Man of War by far. Um, my stats, like I said, are not the best, but they are increasing. Uh, right now, I'm playing for stats. I'm trying to get my KD up as high as possible. I'm going to wait till I get about 75,000 kills, probably. And then I'm going to start finishing off my Dark Matter. Uh, I'm going to show you all my weapon, my class setups, and stuff like that as well. AN, you know, all these KDs are roughly the same. Uh, my favorite guns right now, honestly, are the Kuda and the Man of War, though. Those are definitely my favorite. My arena stats suck. I haven't played a lot of arenas, so that's... Um, 
I want to show you my classes real quick. And then go. Uh, we got this VMP class, which um, I don't know why I have ELO. I shouldn't have ELO on it. VMP has been my favorite SMG since this game came out. <laughs> the UAVs, though, I know, right? Um, it's been my favorite SMG, but now it is the CUDA. Uh, the Vesper was dominant this whole last month, but then it got nerfed, and it's really not that great. It's okay, but it's still recoily. KN, man, with the rapid fire, quick draw, extended mags. You're going to notice I mostly run Dead Silence and Blast Suppressor and Ghost on everything. I like to be healthy. I don't like to be seen, um, especially when I'm playing for stats as well. Uh, it definitely helps out a ton. We got this HVK class with Reflex, Quick Draw, Grip, Stock. I like Stock on my ARs. We give it more of a hybrid SMG feel. Fast Mags, Blast Suppressor, Dead Silence. Um, this, this is my favorite AR class in the game right now. Extended Mags, ELO, Quick Draw, Rapid Fire. By far, my favorite Assault Rifle class in this game. Uh, I don't like the Man of War without Rapid Fire, though. So I have to have rapid fire in this um, As you guys could tell, I've basically maxed out every weapon I've used in this game, except for the HBK. Uh, the ICR, I like it with extended mags, quick draw, rapid fire. It's pretty disgusting with high caliber as well. We have the MAA7 with reflex, high caliber, quick draw, grip. Um, the Brecky, I've been trying to level up different guns because now that I'm a master prestige, it takes a very long time to level up. Oh, so I'm using a whole bunch of different weapons, and I still have to come back to these other guns. Bergon class, of course, with rapid fires. This is my <laughs> wait to see it. This is the only gun setup I will use in free for all, hardcore free for all. That is. I am world ranked at hardcore free for all, somewhere in the 700s. I'll show you all time. Uh, I have plenty of kills, so it's not like I haven't played enough games to be world. I use six cents, overclock, fast hands, dead silence, fast max, quick draw, extend equip. That's the class setup I do recommend in hardcore. Best setup in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this is my favorite SMG class setup in the game. The CUDA with Quick Draw, Suppressor, and Rapid Fire. Oh my god, this is my favorite class setup. It's disgusting. It's like no recoil whatsoever. You guys couldn't tell already. Wade has Hero on like basically everything. Um, right there, I'll show you another uh, setup we have. Have it on this guy. We have it on like every single character. Have it on this guy too. Like, that's why my stats took such a nasty hit, was just going to go. Um, we have it on this girl. We have it on, like, just about everybody, like I said. Um, I will also show you... Oh, what am I doing? Your boy is slipping. He is slipping, sliding. Wait, wait, score streaks? More than... Well, mostly I run Care Package, Lightning Strike, Hardened Sentry. It just seems to work for me, because I do play solo. These stats are 90% based off solo play. Um, show you real quick what we're working with here. We have so many titles, I don't even know what to do with them. Too many. Uh, I have some of the best titles in the game. Here's we have Frenzy, we have Mega Killer, Super Killer, Ultra Killer. I mean, Calamity, y'all already saw my montage. We got a six-man gravity spike on Hunted. That's how I got Calamity. We got Destroy and HCXD with a Combat Axe. We got so many different, you know, challenges. Um, that's why, like I said, my stats aren't the greatest. I'm working on them right now, though. Awesome. Capture an enemy care package center. This video is going to be a bit longer than I initially anticipated, but you know, that's a title right there I don't see anybody really having at the moment. Oh, God, chuck him in the air like a frisbee, like my boy King J would say. Um, yeah, so I put quite a bit of zombies as well, I guess you could say. We got that Master Killer, Weapons Mastery, Missions Master. Actually, we don't have that one yet, but we're like 83% with Boot Camp. 
75% of career. I'm going to get most of these. And this, I'm only like four EMP grenades off for ending someone specialist before I get the mastery on that one. Abilities master, almost have that. We're just so close to getting all these different masteries. A black market. I got a bunch of black markets. Legendary. Another legendary. On it. I don't know what really else to say. I showed you my class setups. I showed you my calling cards for the most part. Uh, challenges. Oh, close. If career, all I got to do is pistols, melees, and snipers. A uh, game of heroics. We almost have this one. Dark ops. We have a bunch of dark ops. This one's one of the best ones in the game to have. That one's like really hard to get. Finish the job. Um, you guys can feel free to pause at any point. And I have to do commando away from that and three away from the well, Actually, I have a lot more I have to do. Is that. Don't mad me. I'm losing my voice right now for whatever reason. I'm talking too fast, but. Is I don't know what else I'm really missing. Oh, you. Black market. I haven't been getting too many good things. Oh, I have to show you my classes real quick so you guys can see firsthand another reason my stats are dropping. We have diamond camo on the SMGs. Oh, um, we have it on the ARs. ARs. Oh, and we have it on. <laughs> we also have it on. Let's see here. All right, the LMGs. We have it on that too. Almost, do we have it on this yet? We're, we're still working on the shotties. We almost have the shotties done, though. Yeah, as you can tell, I took a different career path with this Call of Duty game. I could reset my stats, no problem, hold a 3 KDR. Um, no, but I'd rather go the route where I have a crap ton of kills. I have, like, 200,000 kills in the game by the time this game's... It ends, basically, the longevity of the game. And, um, you know, if I can get my KD up to, like, a 1.80 to, like, 2.0, somewhere roughly in there, by the time I have, like, 150,000 kills or I hit level 600, that would be awesome. In my opinion, that's way more impressive than having a 3 KD if I just have really high stats with a crap ton of kills. You know what I mean? Uh, I got to show you my leaderboards real quick. I am ranked 8,170 in the all-time career for core. Um, free for all, I'm holding like a 5 KD. Before they did the patch, I was ranked like 3,000 in the world on that. I have like, oh my god, so many kills. 26,600 in kill confirmed. Hardcore is where I'm best at, though. I'm still, I'm even top, world ranked at hardcore, too. 97,000. Uh, free for all. We're ranked 737 in the world right there, people. 737 in the world and climbing. Uh, kill confirmed. We're ranked 17,433 in the world. Happy if I do say so myself. That about wraps it up for that. If you didn't know, when you hit Master Prestige, you can get all these different, you know, rankings. My favorite one right now is this. I can't wait to hit level 400, though, because if I want to get the Black Ops 1. Or prestige as one X, but for now this is the one I like the most. Um, yeah, not the greatest stats in the world, like I said, but they have been definitely going up. It just takes a long time. I have to play like twelve or thirteen games consistently, even go up a point, you know, point zero one, and it's just a grind. But I'm hustling right now and. I'm making it happen. I'm going to get Dark Matter camo on top of my hero, and it's going to be boss. So like I said, just because you have low stats in this game or average stats, people are going to sweep on you. They're not going to think you're that great at the game. But they don't take into account, if you have hero armor, diamond camo, you're going to take a, 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 you know, a KDR hit. And you know what? At the end of the day... If I end up having high stats, decently high stats, and I have hero and also manage to get dark matter, you can't hate on somebody because they've been doing all these challenges, 
everything else. So, how, you know, how do you see yourself being a great player? In my opinion, it's not just based off KDR. It's based on all these other accomplishments you've done, as well as if you're beating people on the other team that have high stats, even if you have low stats, but you're able to drop 60, 70 kills on people that have like a 3 KDR, then yeah, you're a great player. I mean, just the other day, I was playing this dude, Acquisitional. He has like 2.71 KDR, 175,000 kills in the game, and he's ranked 40 in the world, and I dropped 60 kills on him, and I only had like a 130 KD. Um, you know, he showed respect to me, so stats are deceiving. Don't always go into a lobby assuming someone's bad because of their stats. There could be a reason because they have low stats, you know what I mean? I play solo, like I said, 90% of the time, and I get the crappiest teammates ever. Um, I'm not a fan of people who have a 3, four, three or 4 KD, and they not even holding a positive win-loss. To me, you're just backing out of games. You're just dashboarding for KD. or not a fan of that. Uh, I think that's awful. Some of my favorite Call of Duty commentators have a negative win-loss right now. And I guess I'm not a fan of it, but what am I going to do about that? All that matters is I'm holding a 145 one loss at the moment, which is pretty impressive considering I play a majority of solo. So, you know what? It is what it is. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this combat record. I'll keep you guys posted and updated. You already know what it is. I'm going to probably hit around the 2 KDR by the time the game is almost done. Maybe, I don't know, maybe even by like July I'll have like a 2 KDR and I'll have like over 130,000 kills. You just have to see. I hope you guys respect this, um, the honest combat record I'm bringing to you today. Hey, I wish I could bring you guys higher stats, but I massacred my stats playing solo and playing for hero and going towards that dark matter camo. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's not like I'm playing in parties of five and six all the time where I have VSATs flying everywhere and I can just see where everybody is at all times. My teammates are never good enough to get these stats. Except for the ones that I party up with, and I only party up with people like five to ten percent of them. Hey, you guys enjoyed. Those are your boys' stats. Um, that's that's basically it. If you guys have any any uh, questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Uh, that's basically it. Like I said, I'm going for a crap ton of kills. I'm going for that hundred fifty thousand, two hundred fifty thousand kill range um and somewhere around a 2 kdr and i think that's fair that's reasonable and i'm gonna have a positive one loss ratio so you can't hate on that especially heavy hero armor and that dark matter that's it i hope you guys enjoy that that was the uh